All right, so for this next exercise here, we're gonna focus on the heel toe downshift. And this is the only thing I really want you to put 100% attention to for this particular exercise, just because it's gonna require quite a bit of coordination. You know, I don't want any other distractions rather than just perfecting the shift in the short amount of time we have. Okay. okay. Now, we're gonna be using two gears, okay? We're gonna be using second gear, and we're gonna be using third gear. Now, the best speed for this drill is gonna be about 55 to 60 miles an hour, okay? You don't wanna go much faster than that, obviously, just for the amount of room we have, but that's gonna be quick enough where the shift is actually going to make sense, yes. okay? So as we accelerate out of the corner we just went through, accelerate out of second gear, make your shift up to third, try to get to that 55, 60 miles an hour as soon as you can. Okay. Now when you get to the other side of the track, you're gonna start noticing a three cone, a two cone, and then you're gonna see that turn in reference that I just set up. Yes. Okay. This three cone to your right is where I want you to begin your, your straight line braking. Okay, so 55, 60 miles an hour, third gear, once you get to this point, make that transition from gas to brake. Now just watching you on the handling oval, you're actually getting better and better at making that smooth transition. Okay, try to roll that right into this exercise. That smoothness is gonna be key, okay? Now another thing that we're gonna do, like we just did in the last exercise, is progressively keep adding more brake pressure the closer you get to your turn-in, okay? So you're gonna be adding more brakes and more brakes and more brakes the closer you get to your turn-in reference, okay? Now here comes the tricky part. As soon as you roughly get about halfway through your braking zone is where you're going to make that transition from third gear down to second, second gear. Okay. And you want to try to time that roughly about halfway through your braking zone. Okay. Once you complete your shift, you're going to be out of the clutch, you're going to remain on the brake pedal, and this double cone here is the, is the cone I want you to turn around. In second gear. Second gear. Now same thing, unwind the wheel. Accelerate. Accelerate second. Okay third gear up to third up to 55 now as you approach this corner I'm going to change the references on you okay as soon as you get right to the edge of pit lane wall pit lane wall right about here yes on the brakes on the brakes look for your halfway point halfway point right about here okay use that point in the tire wall downshift to second downshift to second use a little heel and toe correct out of the clutch, remain on the brake, and this is where you're you're going to be doing that U-turn. Back and forth, back and forth. That's it. So what I'll do is, after I'm done explaining this exercise to you, I'm going to put you back into your, your Corvette, okay, and I'm going to do another lead follow with you, just like the one we just did out on, on the handling oval. Obviously, you're going to be on the gas about 55, 60 miles an hour, and then as soon as you approach that three cone, you remember you're going to make that smooth transition from gas to brake. Now that transition that I just did is gonna be very important because if you are misplacing your foot on the brake, you're gonna have a difficult time making contact with that throttle. So something I really aim for is I almost try to put the ball of my foot in the center of the brake. Ball of the foot, okay. center of the brake. Okay. Now, right before the two cone, the clutch goes down. As soon as the clutch goes down, start making your gear change from third over to second. Mm -hmm. Right before you put into second gear, watch my right foot, I'm gonna roll over. And I'm going to spike the RPMs blip it, up. Blip it, yeah. Now as you blip or you rev the RPMs up, down to second gear. It's going to go in nice and smoothly. Nice and smooth. Release the clutch. Maintain the your brake pressure. Okay. Probably what I'll see first time I do it is the car is going to get jerky as I put too much or too little brake pressure as I'm switching back and forth between clutch and, and accelerator. That's, that's a very common issue. You know, a lot of people who misplace their foot on the brake what they do is they try to reach over, and since they can't reach the actual throttle pedal, they'll compensate by pushing harder on the brake so they can, can reach the throttle pedal, causing the car then to dive and over slow. So that foot placement, as I said earlier, is gonna be a huge piece of this puzzle. Yep. Well, I'll give it a whirl.
So after watching Murray for a little bit, um, a common issue that he's running into on this heel toe downshift is when he's going to the brakes, he's not positioning his foot correctly, so he's struggling to bring the RPMs up to match the motor RPM to the transmission RPM. Now, what happens is by not bringing that RPM up, it's actually causing the rear of the car locking up. So as he's going into the corner, you can hear the chatter of that rear end binding and locking up. So the corrective action for him in this situation is, is trying to reposition his foot and bringing the RPMs a little bit higher to match those two RPMs and make for a smoother shift. Now, overall, he's gonna develop a, a higher level of consistency, but also he's eliminating that wear and tear on the drivetrain. So it'll be able to perform for much longer without overheating or, or braking.